Howdy, folks. Welcome to episode three. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're sitting there thinking, yeah, what's he going to screw up today? But, you know, I don't know why you're thinking that because it's not like I ever screw anything up. Oh, fake. Photoshopped. Oh, come on. That was my stunt double. Come on. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, whatever. Let's get uh, let's get going here. And the first thing I wanted to do is I've got some XP. So I wanted to do this. And we're going to craft a super XP frame. And what does this do, you ask? I'll tell you. <laughs> so you put this on the wall. And when you punch it, you right click on it. And it will give you XP bottles. Yay. And then you can break the XP bottles. They act like they act like the there we go. No, there we go. They act like the which we call it. They act like the bottles of enchanting, but they do give you an exact number of bottles. So they give you sixteen per bottle. That is, they give you the same amount of XP per bottle instead of a different amount. So if you see, I'm right below the chicken drum stick thingy on level 21 down there on my XP bar. So if I take like whatever, however many of these, and then I break them all. I end up at the same spot. So you don't, you don't lose XP in the process of doing this, which is awesome. So I'm going to grab all of these. There we go. And we'll put these away in the valuable chest. There we go. And another thing that's nice about these chests, one of the little handy little things in here is the sorting. And so you can sort in different ways and it will sort your chest for you. It'll sort all your valuables or whatever. And you can do the same thing with look at this mess. And so you can sort it like this by order, or you can sort it in columns, etc., etc. And it's night, so I will sleep. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to get to work on the tools. So we're going to make, we first need to make some blank patterns. And I believe those are, we'll do this. And those are like this. Okay, so we'll grab 16 patterns and then we need a stencil table. And let me see here, pattern chest, part chest, there we go. And that is a tool, a chest, a block and sticks. Okay, so there we go. Chest, a block and sticks. And what was the other one? The pattern, okay, so that should go there. All right, and that's where we can put our stencil parts and everything. So we can put the stencil table over here and we'll put the part chest over here. And let's see, we need, what is the other thing we need? We need a tool station and we need a part builder. So where is the tool station? And so we can do this, we need a crafting table. And so now we can do tool station and we can do the part builder builder there we go okay and that is just wood and do i not have any <laughs> oh tell me i converted all my logs i think i did so let me go quickly grab a log here <laughs> because i always convert all my logs immediately and now those of you with ocd are going to be driven insane by the floating tree until I fix it. <laughs> so don't look at that. Just don't look at it. Stop looking. Stop. Okay. <laughs> so let's try this again. And there we go. So we have a part builder and that's going to not match as well. And we also have the tool station. Now let's see if I put, I think if I put the crafting table here, Yes, it will now when you when you click on the crafting table or any of these, you get the tabs. So you can do all of these things in one little you don't have to screw around with all of this with coming in and out of the interface. So we put our blank patterns on here. And what we need to make, we're first gonna make a pickaxe. So we're gonna make a pickaxe head, and we're gonna grab that. 
and this little material cost that you see on there is how many of these it's going to cost to make that thingy. We need a handle, a tool rod, and we need a binding pattern. So let's take these and we'll go to the part builder and we're going to put our pattern on the part builder and we're going to put our material on here. Now see this says material cost two. It's going to cost two cobblestone in order to use this, in order to make this. And so we're going to do the same thing with the tool rod pattern. And actually I don't think we need that right now. And we're going to do the binding pattern and we'll make one of those. Okay, and that should do us for right now. And the other thing we need to do is we need to get some, there we go, some of this. And I'm trying to decide whether I should do more than that, but I think we'll start with this. So we're going to make some bronze is the word I was looking for. I was saying brass a couple times last episode, I think. But bronze is the thing we're looking for. Now when the copper and the tin both melt in the smeltery, they will automatically convert into bronze. As you can see here, the bronze is increasing and the copper and tin are decreasing. So there we go. And now we're going to put the bronze on the bottom. Actually, we need to put the gold on the bottom or the clay. We'll use the clay because we're going to make our molds here. So we will take our pickaxe head and our clay is on the bottom and we'll pour the clay into the mold. There we go. And the stone thing is going to break. There we go. And now we have a clay mold. And now we switch to the bronze. And we are going to make a bronze pickaxe head. So there we go. And it's going to heat up. And the clay thing, as you can see, the clay thing disappeared. The cast disappeared. And so the other thing we need to make is a stone binding. So we're going to put the clay on the bottom again not a stone binding, we need to make the binding cast. And the binding we are going to make out of copper. And let's see, so I need to put in more copper. And we'll let that melt. And it's going to be slow, <laughs> just to taunt me. And what is the other thing we need to make here? The other thing I was gonna make while that's smelting is I was going to make a handle. So let's do that. I'm going to make a bone handle for later. And we'll put this back here. Okay, so this should be, there we go, there's our copper. So we're going to make our binding out of copper. There it is. Nice. And we are going to make our handle out of wood. So there's our handle. Okay. Now we're going to go to the tool station, which I could have done in the, <laughs> in the GUI. And you select a pickaxe. And you see you need these three parts. You need the tool rod, the pickaxe head, and the binding. So we'll put on our tool rod, our pickaxe head, and our binding. And it's going to give us a bronze pickaxe. Now each of the materials, each of these materials has special things that it does for you and you can look those up in this book here not the squid the squid won't tell you the book will so you go into this book and it'll show you all the tool materials so you can click on this and it'll tell you that the wood will add depending on what you add it to if you make the handle out of it it makes this and it gives you some regeneration and this it's every once in a while you just take like a half a heart of damage so you'll be mining and you just randomly <laughs> take a half heart of damage which is kind of funny and so yeah, those are all the materials that you can use to build stuff. And a lot of these we can't access right now because we're too poor. <laughs> but obsidian is another one I'm gonna be doing and steel soon, I hope. And bone, as you see here, increases damage. And so that's why we are making the other thing out of bone. So anyway, here is our pickaxe. There we go, and an achievement. So this pickaxe now will run out of durability, but when it runs out of durability, you put it back on the table, you put some bronze on the table and you repair it. And it's repairable forever. It's not like the other tools. It is not like the 
whatchamacallit tools, the standard vanilla tools that break all the time and then increase in cost and all that stuff. And instead of instead of enchantments, what you do is you use redstone and lapis and a few other materials, and it'll show you in this book again. You use your modifiers. So instead of enchanting it, you can put all these modifiers, which are pretty much like the other, the vanilla enchants, except there's a couple of them where you can make it wider or taller, so you can have a pickaxe that breaks multiple blocks in one shot. And there's also a cool hammer that can do that, which we will do later. But anyway, I also want to make a sword, and so we'll get that going. So the sword needs, let's see what the sword needs, a tool rod, which we have, and a sword blade and a wide guard. And I want to make the wide guard out of bone for extra damage, if I can, and the sword blade I want to make out of bronze. So let's get the sword blade going. Let's see, we need the sword blade pattern. There we go, and that's gonna take two. And then we need the wide guard, and that's gonna require one. So we'll go over to the part builder, and we will make a bone wide guard. There we go, and we need to make a pattern for the blade. So we'll do this, and we'll go over here, and where is our, there we go. We'll put that on there and make sure our clay is on the bottom, and we'll make a cast. And then when the cast is done, we're going to make a bronze sword. There we go, and there's our bronze. All right. Now, I like bronze. It's a little bit better than iron. It has more durability and a little more damage and stuff. So that's why I like it. And so we'll make the sword here. And there we go. And so this has 654 durability. And I think that's about the same as a diamond sword, attack seven. And you can put modifiers on it as well. And so there we go. We have some decent equipment. And I'm also going to make some armor, which you make in the vanilla way right now. And I'll probably just make a set of iron armor. So, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I should make some diamonds. <laughs> but iron is a little expensive. And I looked these up, by the way. I mentioned also that you could make tools and stuff out of these. Apparently, this is a different sapphire and peridot and stuff. And you cannot make tools out of those in the biome with the biomes plenty version i guess that was some other mod that project red it's called that was for 1.7 and so that's not the same and so anyway i'm going to make a set of iron armor here and i will be right back in a minute okay guys we're back and i've got my iron armor and i also went to put away the patterns and apparently i built a part chest instead of a pattern chest so we're going to build a pattern chest real quick, which is a way to store these, all your patterns. So we'll put this up here. And so then we can put all our patterns in there. And it's nice and handy there. And we'll put our copper and tin back and our iron and arrange it or whatever. <laughs> And so I need to make, I want to get some obsidian because I also want to make an obsidian pickaxe. And so I'm just going to make a diamond pick for right now for doing that because I think that's the only thing that we have that can do obsidian right now. And I also grabbed <clears throat> some lava downstairs in order to feed this thing. And so what we can do is instead of going down into the caves to look for <laughs> obsidian, we can do this, and where's the other two? And we'll get these two. There we go, and there we go. Okay, now I can get this obsidian mined. Here, let's put this torch back too. There we go. Okay, so wrong tool it helps if I actually use the right tool so yeah I'm going to use some obsidian and I'm going to make an obsidian pickaxe because those are nice and handy too I really like the they're a little bit faster and stuff and so there's a nice upgrade you can put on it 
and we'll see if I can do that <laughs> in this episode. So we'll get this last piece of obsidian, and you can do the same thing with the smeltery. Here we go. You go, you put it in the smeltery, and it melts. And I think it's rather slow to melt. Let me see if we have another bucket. No, that was our only other bucket of lava. So I'll have to go downstairs and grab some more. I've got that one little lake down there that's so far been safe for for grabbing lava. And let's see, I want to do a handle on that. I want to use a stick handle and let's check the materials real quick to see what I can use to make the binding. Now if I make the binding out of obsidian, is it going to give me, it's going to give me durability. And let's see, I want extra speed on it, so I'd like to be able to do that. Iron will give you that magnetic, it actually pulls things in. And what was the other one that I was looking at that I had? What did I, what else did I have? Bone. No, bone just does extra damage. Okay, I need to get some slime, those are helpful. But yeah, I think we will just make the binding out of obsidian. We'll check, we'll check and see what the pattern, actually bronze, bronze was the one I was looking for. Yeah, we'll make it out of bronze. So we'll grab our patterns here. Those are not the patterns we want. We'll grab, yeah, those are the patterns we want. So we're going to do the tool rod, pickaxe and the wide guard, and we're going to, not the wide guard. <laughs> the, where'd it go? Where is our other pattern? Is it in my inventory? Where's my binding? Where did my binding pattern go? Did I put it in somewhere else? <laughs> okay, how did I lose that? Okay, so yeah, I don't get it. Okay, I will make another one then. So we'll do our stencil table and we'll grab a binding because apparently I lost the other one. <laughs> I don't know how you misplaced that. And we want to go to the part builder and we're going to make a stone pattern for that. And we're going to make a stone pattern for the pickaxe head. And we're also going to make the tool rod. There we go. Okay. So we can go over here and we'll put our pickaxe on and make sure we have clay. Okay, so there's one, and then we're going to make an obsidian head on that. When that's done, there we go, there's an obsidian pickaxe head, and we're going to make a bronze. There we go, bronze. Now the gold that's in there, I'm leaving that in there because you can also make these casts out of gold, and actually I need to switch that back to clay first. You can make a cast out of gold and it doesn't break you can use it over and over and over so that's the purpose behind that and you can also automate all this stuff but for right now it's easier we're just making a couple things but you can actually automate it to do mass production of like blocks and stuff so we'll get our bronze here and there we go and we'll put together our obsidian pickaxe and that's at the tool station so we'll put our tool rod and our stuff and there we go and so as you can see here this has a mining speed of seven it doesn't have as much durability but that's okay and it also has a higher mining level so i think you can get yeah you can get obsidian and you can pick up cobalt because cobalt is one level above obsidian so there we go and we can also put haste on that and i'll show you what that does and I also need to make, I should make this one into a fortune pickaxe, but we will, yeah, we'll grab some lapis here too. So the tool station, you put your tool on the tool station and you put your redstone on here. And as you can see, you can use up to 50. And so our speed will be 7.07 .07, and here the speed is 12.18. So our speed goes up and we put more more haste on here and we can go up to speed 16. 
So I will show you what that looks like and I'm going to save the other modifier because I want to make a different modifier on that. But here, this is how fast this one goes compared to this. And why did I just get XP for breaking a block? Oh, I think that's part of the thingy on here. Well established. Yeah, the copper binding, you get XP for that. So you get apparently you get XP for breaking stone, which is really cool. But anyway, I'm going to use these and go do some more mining. So I will see you guys in the next episode because we're out of time for today. So join me in episode four where we will make some even cooler tools and get some more of this area cleaned up and actually looking decent and cleared out and everything. So we will see you in episode four. Later.